Yeah, a little bit ahead of me though. You're right. We're going to do that. But what are you going to do? Nio, notify, identify, inspect, observe. But there better be repairs or alterations on the two two line of the assembly. Now I agree. Close all the knobs on the gate and open up four, three, two, one. Three. Yep. Two. two. One. Then one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Three B, three G. <laughs> I don't know the BBB. Three then two. Anytime I hook up hose, I turn this on, and then I bleed it. When I have flow internally, both checks are what? Thank you. R two D two. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Much better than mine. Anytime I hook up a hose, I turn it on and let the gauge peg. Now, if some gauges go all the way up. I think Dale was like, it didn't make it all the way there. As long as you let it go up and you're not rushing it. Anytime I hook up a hose, I turn it on. Well, what color is the hose? Red. So, what's the bleed valve that I open? Red. High side bleed valve. I now have a lot of flow. My checks are open. Life's good. To, if someone was bleeding this profusely, you would need to slap on a tourniquet to try to stop the flow of blood. So now I come over here to close the number two shutoff and proceed to stop the bleed valve by opening that, closing the lock, high side bleed valve, letting the gauge peg, and then close the low side bleed valve. Is check one holding? I need you to start to say this because at this point I can come in and start blowing things up on my simulator. So each tester should have been saying all afternoon, Check. Is check one holding? And check one is holding at 8.7. I wasn't hearing that while I sat up here, but now that you're going back and doing some practicing, let's get in the habit of calling out the number, writing down the apparent value at 8.7. From here, I'm going to test the relief valve. I move my hands down on the gauge. I open the high side needle a full turn. I never touch it again. And now I put my hand under here and I crack my low no more than a quarter turn. I can always slow it down, but it falls every time. If anything, it falls too quick and I have to slow it down. This should be about the rate that you should be targeting. This slow, slow and steady wins the prize. 8, 7.8, 7.4, 7.2, 7.0, 6.8, 6.7, 6.3, 6.2, 6.0, 5.8, 5.7, 5.6, 5.5, there it is, right there, there I can even see it. So the relief valve opened at about 5.4 and it's opening. So now I write down the relief valve opens at 5.4, I'm gonna pass the relief valve, but more importantly folks, please close that low needle, stop that from happening. So test one is done. There's only three tests. And I passed a relief valve above two. Hook up the hose, turn it on, spit the water out. Anytime I hook up a hose, my next step is to do what? Open the valve. Turn it on, thank you, and then we bleed it. That's the low side bleed valve. Reestablish the zone, pull the slot machine, reset the game because in three, two, one, boom, my checks are gonna be closed. Check one and check two are closed. I now have 195, some other 93 over here, excuse me, over here. So now I'm gonna take this red water and launch it through the yellow hose and back pressure the number two check. Opening up the bypass of the vent valve. My choices are tight, discompression, which for that to occur, the gauge would fall and water would spit out of here, or it's leaking, which water is not leaking, so it's not leaking. So as it stands, this is stable. The gauge is stable, no number, no water is peeing out of it. Therefore, check two is marked as tight. Once check two is marked as tight, I can complete the third and final test, which is the number one check by reestablishing the zone, creating flow, close it, and record the value of the third test, which is of the number one check, and now it's 8.9. This is a passing assembly with the relief valve that opens at about 5.4 and passes. Check number two that is tight, and a number one check that is tight at exactly 8.7. So what I need you to do is head to a vertical assembly if you've not tested a vertical assembly. You have one hour. I need you in this time to test 11.5, 11.6, 11.7, 11.8, 11.9, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19,